where uh, the dog can actually lose control of its blood sugar levels um, due to a lack of a hormone called insulin. Usually the first thing that uh, an owner will notice um, what they bring the, the dog in for is because they'll notice more urinating in the house, the dog might be having accidents um, where they've always been clean before and uh, you'll usually notice an increase in thirst with that as well. Correctly treated for diabetes, then we, we can get into a, an emergency situation uh, with with the animal. If um, the, with the with the treatment of the diabetes, it's very important that you stick to a regular routine, both with feeding, exercise, with the treatment with the insulin, um, and basically have regular checkups with with the vet to check sugar levels and make sure that everything is stable. Uh, when an animal is diagnosed with diabetes, uh, the vet will actually go through very thorough instructions with an owner about that um, and how important it is to stick to the routine. Now then, so we need to inject into the scruff of his neck yeah. for yeah. Yeah. Draw back to make sure there's no blood. He's been diabetic since early 2006 and having checked him over today he's doing very well. He seems to be stable at the moment and he's happy in himself and his blood tests and his urine tests show that he, he's quite stable. And what would you do with that to get that? I don't know what we do really because um, we would have to report that. And why did you get involved with this one? To um, highlight, you know, what, what to do for them. Not please, you know. Come here.